Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, the safe space in which would be awesome, where that's a lie. Um, but we're not quite there yet. And that will be next recording session. No, where we are is just a simple place. We, we had our conversation with Sayori, it was very real, very touching. But that isn't all. No, what we have left to do today is to go hang out with Natsuki and make food or whatever. Say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we are definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, alright. I can see that. You know what? In that conversation, there were no specific... There were, there were a couple red flags, but nothing too drastic. In that conversation. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival, completely ignoring what just happened. Before I know it, she texts me and let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door and let her in. Stop! It, it, hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. It's almost as if people have clothes that they wear. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. And, you know, thinking about her cute clothes, especially after the whole thing that just happened. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. I know I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. I think he's carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all the way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me, uh, asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part, especially the buying part, as I don't care for buying food. Well, of course. I'm surprised you and Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. More three-dimensional people. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Three-dimensional people. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer me uh, to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Kiwi? Hey, I'm the host, not your chauffeur. Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag that Suki holds out to me. Wait, hang on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? You said, followed exclusively, immediately by doing the thing she said. Good. This is ridiculously heavy. Ah ha ha. I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? With my super strength, I could snap your knife? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. Hehehe. <laughs> It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. The, the the blow crumples me to the floor. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? <laughs> your size has nothing to do with why I underestimate you. Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they think I'm only worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. <laughs> but... Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you could uh, make me talk about the weird things just because you're not at school. Are we getting started to what? There's a lot of stuff I got to teach you. <laughs> yeah, what? It's a little bit more than I... Uh, that's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Uh, hey! Now, you are treating me like a child. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like yours doesn't mean you should treat me like... I... Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki. Forget it! I didn't say anything, shut up! You should apologize. Eh? Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have uh, been a little more considerate, too. But also, 
If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are a ton of guys who are in the, the body types like yours. Ah, uh, how would you know that anyway? I don't know, maybe because you're, well, not teenagers, you're, you're all 18 plus and the internet exists. <laughs> Just trust me on that one. You know, it's, it's honestly excruciatingly surprising that you don't already know this. Gross. Hey. Is that the me? Who else? Man. Let's just get this started already. Don't even get me started. <laughs> you get all sour when the girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Kiwi. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Spare me your, your indiscretions. When Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. She's, uh, satisfied enough for now. F uh, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Don't even get me started, but I'll get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid. Interesting. And plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. Every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. There's a lot of weird innuendos in this. <laughs> I'm not sure I caught them the first time. We'll lay the tapes back. You'll you'll find out. I'm roughly time time for time with my original series. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precise baking. Baking is a science. Hey, where do you put the food coloring? Batter's going in the oven soon, so uh, I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag near the table. What are we using it for? Call the batter, stupid. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if uh, the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Uh, that's a cute idea. Are you doing anything like that with the icing? D do you want to? Uh, you asking me? I don't really have a preference. It just all tastes like vanilla. Come on! I'm not putting any art into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Look, if this were an anime or some kind of dating sim, maybe I'd be having fun. I'm not really sure why Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. And that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. Presentation is where you get to be the most, uh, get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it make everyone's li eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? 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 Ho? She? Sometimes hi? Recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and the Sayori Mas and Monica's delighted expression. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using an electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. I've been trying to use a mixer that has specific power. Well, yeah. It's just taking a lot, a little long. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. She grabs a whisk from me and uses her other arm to tilt the bowl back. See, this is how you whisk. You don't need to beat the crap out of it. For a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? When you're baking, you can't... You have to have take full control and kill it. I just have to emphasize that Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. Reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! So you suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. How can they be gross if you ha washed your hands like you're supposed to? Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? Start to fight. <laughs> she did most of the work. Actually, neither of you did all of the work. Start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me bit the crap out of you next. I can see you try. Push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some of my finger. The bowl falls on the floor. Natsuki <laughs> tugs with all of her might. Ah! 
Forcing that Suki pulling me causing me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got this on my face! So many innuendos. Whose fault is that? It's a big glob of icing on that Suki's cheek. Mmm. Tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Atsuki uh, instead wipes it off uh, with her finger and starts shoving her finger toward my face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Suki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. And then the image. Oh, okay. <laughs> this image, words and all, is the most innuendo innuendo that ever innuendoed in a fucking... Um, I want to say safer work game, but for reasons unrelated, it's not. Um, for a completely nudity-free game. Also, my cat wants that. I'll be right back. And we've returned, and nothing has changed besides the where the, we are in the music. Until you apologize for calling me gross. What? Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get the reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Alright. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Like a fucking weirdo. What? what, what? Does you seriously just... Ah. So she's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. God, like, this game is a parody game. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club is a parody game of these things happening in other games that are like this, where when it happens at those games, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Kiwi, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? My question is she asking me just like that. A fucking valid and really relevant one? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? Oh, I don't know. There's plenty of ways it happened. She gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? I don't know where the fire alarm starts going off. So he rushes over to the icing. To the oven. Something burning? Thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Ha! No wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, you stupid fucking idiot. How could you make a mistake like that? <laughs> she, like, has smoker's cough. You should get- you should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes, you- What the fuck is wrong with you? Jeez. Suki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. Another moment, the fire alarm stops. And the way. I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But that, but the moment has already lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven. Then, I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Oh, excuse me. Like nothing ever happened. Ah, oh, that smells so good! Cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling air, um, fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each each of the trays. It'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I bought- I, I brought decorating stuff, so I just- I hope, uh, you can get creative. Yeah, scoop the icing into these bags. Suki hands me some plastic bags. It would feel like a plastic bag. A plastic bag. Like a plastic bag. Are these nozzles... I have these nozzles that will uh, make it look nice and fluffy. This one can make even flowers. I probably won't be using this t at this time, though. What's this one for? Pick up one of the nozzles that has much thinner than the others. That one's really thin, so we use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can use it to write stuff on the cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Ah, I see. It gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, that's yeah, I'm gonna write a tattoo on it. Well, it's a literature event, right? 
We can make it more literature themed by writing in different words on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually like a, a really cute idea, so... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm getting it from you. Or maybe I'm dynamic. Maybe I'm a three-dimensional person. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. You have pink hair, and you're short, and you're angry. That's adorable. Come on. When I was at school, nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like uh, this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, well Suki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. So he picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle to each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think um, about... What? Without giving me a chance to think about before... Oh. Atsuki quickly moves on. She's about to sh uh, She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get to work. <sighs> hey, give me a second to fucking yawn. We finally finished, Natsuki puts uh, them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, I wish I could have uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really should save my appetite. Ah, ha, ha, ha. always the exact opposite in that regard. Oh, she eats fucking everything. She would probably be down 10 cupcakes already. She would still eat dinner. You know, making all these comments about Sayori, despite what happened earlier. You really know how to clear your stupid idiot head, aren't, don't you? Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. That's some red flags for Natsuki. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I still need to be home for dinner. Already? <laughs> Fruit fly in my face. That's a shame. Maybe it's a gnat, I don't know. It's, it's one of those tiny fly around the, your face bugs. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on it. You can't bring the cupcakes. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you don't say, all right, each carries some, then you probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I think, I, I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. You know, the one I should have been worried about the whole time instead of just now. I felt so helpless. Sayori will always, Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You do. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. Blank. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Or maybe I just wanted to make cupcakes because bacon kicks ass? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. Yeah, this is... If this were a normal dating sim, that would have been a, hey, you got closer to her thing. But also, there were no real choices in dialogue, so, you know, nothing really changed. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not having, uh, not always having this chance. Doesn't have to be all that all the, uh, way all the, at all. I had fun today. Show me how ba fun baking can be, like you want it. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this with you. If, if you want to read manga, go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Asuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her, her expression. Her embarrassment. Her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Okay, wait. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Whoa. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. 
Aw, look at her. Look at her real regretful face. I really didn't want to. I'd really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you do, so... Like, suddenly, suddenly gets closer to me. But, that ought to be for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, from Kiwi, you great to yourself a delightful day. Content warning tomorrow. You'll, you'll see why. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, from Kiwi, you great to yourself a delightful day. I love you all. Goodbye.